In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. And, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Happy New Year. Ako, nakakatuwa naman tignan. Dami-dami natin dito sa simbahan. Pero sana, sana wala dito yung taga-pablasyon, ano? ang taga Makati na ma, baka mga hawa. So, let's also continue to try hard to be, to be careful, to be conscious of our surroundings and our health. Huh? Let us begin our celebration by first calling to mind all our sins and failures and ask God for forgiveness and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we, who know you already by faith, may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The prophet Isaiah foresees the day when God will be worshipped not only by the Israelites whom he will be gather from dispersion but also by pagan nations. The Magi represent the gentle outsiders who come to the Lord's light. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Midian and Epa, all from Sheba 
shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall offer gifts the kings of Arabia and Seba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The Apostle Paul declares that, that in Christ Jesus, the loving plan of the Father is now revealed. The Gentiles become sharers with the Jews in the gift of salvation. Our reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations, and as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the Gospel. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew <clears throat> glory to you O Lord when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod behold Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem saying where is the newborn king of the Jews we saw a star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, 
He inquired of them where, where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to be shepherd, who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He said to them, he sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po ulit sa inyong lahat. Happy New Year and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Holy Rosary. Dito sa Manawag. Ngayong araw, ngayong linggo, sineselebrate natin ang Epiphany. The Epiphany of the Lord. Ibig sabihin ng Epiphany, pagpapakilala, pagpapakita, pagpapa-demonstrate, uh, no? pagpakita sa mga tao. Epiphany. Kaya, nagpakita, nagpakilala ang Diyos. Yun ang sineselebrate natin dito sa gospel na binasa natin. Nagpakilala ang Diyos sa mga tatlong magi, tatlong scientists, tatlong mago, kung saan na, kung saan saan nang galing. Ibig sabihin, gusto ng Diyos na makilala siya ng lahat ng mga tao kung saan saan lupalop ng daigdig. Epiphany, pagpapakilala. So ang tanong, kung sineselebrate natin ang pagpapakilala ng Diyos, pagpapakita ng Diyos, ang tanong, nakita na ba natin ng Diyos? Nakita na ba natin ang Diyos? Nakilala na ba natin ang Diyos? Mahal kung tatanungin ko yan outside of this mass, ano, kung halimbawa, all of a sudden, bigla na lang may, tan- may nagtanong sa atin, nakita mo na ba Diyos? Malamang sasabihin natin, hindi. Malamang sasabihin natin, hindi. Siguro kasi, na-expect natin, kapag sinabi nakita natin ang Diyos, parang na-expect natin, katulad tayo ni ni Moses, no? Nakita ng burning bush. O kaya, expect natin na tayo kasama nila Moses doon sa pag, pagtawid doon sa Red Sea, humati yung dagat, no? At tumawid sila. Ganun silo, ang, ganun siguro ang ating expectation, image, kapag, na, kapag uh, para makita, na, para masabi natin na nakita natin ang Diyos. Yung mga malalaking misteryo, no? Malak- malalaking kababalaghan, eh, marami, nang, marami nang ginawang gano'n ng Diyos ng Old Testament sa panahon ng mga Israelita, tapos na napalabas na yan. Nakita na. Kaya kung hinihintay natin na magkakaroon ng dancing sun o magkakaroon ng, ng kung ano mang kababalaghang, kababalaghang mangyayari para masabi natin, nakita natin ng Diyos, hindi yan mangyayari. It is not going to happen. Ipakita ng Diyos sa atin, ang Christmas, Katatapos lang natin ng Pasko, nakita na natin ng Diyos sa sabsaban. O yun, nagpakita na. Dumating na sa buhay natin, sa history natin. Pinanganak na ang Diyos na sa katawang tao kay Jesus Christ. Nagpakita na. Nagpakilala na. Pero nakita ba natin? Nakilala ba natin? Yung siguro dapat natin tatanong-tanungin sa ating sarili nakita na ba natin si Jesus nakita na sa alam natin sa mga storya sa mga pagbabasa ng Bible siguro sa turo sa atin sa eskwela alam natin na si Jesus ang Diyos ang naging tao pinanganak sa sabsaban 
naging baby, helpless, little, very maliit, helpless, kailangan alagaan, kailangan pakainin, ma mahina, iyakin siguro, parang tao. Parang tao. Kaya eh, minsan siguro, kaya natin hindi masabing nakita natin ang Diyos, kasi nga in-expect natin yung mga malalaki, malalaking sensational na mga, mga pangitain, no? Mga burning bush, mga dividing of the Red Sea. You know, okay, may mga bumubulong sa atin, you know, may mga nakikita yung usok, o may salitang uh, boses uh, from somewhere na naririnig tayo. Hindi na yun mangyayari. Hindi na. Kaya nagpakita sa atin ng Diyos sa katawang tao, sa katawang mahina, sa katawang nagugutom, nagpapawis, namamatay, nagkakasakit. Para malaman natin yung maging totoo sa buhay natin, yung isang pagtawag sa Diyos kay Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. So God is with us. God is with us. Kaya kung lilinawin lang natin, bubuksan natin yung mga mata natin, makikita natin ng Diyos. Ngayon, ngayon na, hindi na tayo kailangang mamatay pa pumunta sa langit. Even now, makikita na natin ng Diyos, makikilala na natin siya. Paano? Paano? Doon sa mga bagay na makadiyos na nangyayari o, o pinapamalas sa atin. Kapag mayroong taong naging mabait sa atin, nakita natin ng Diyos. Kapag mayroon tumulong sa atin, nung akala natin, wala na tayong malapitan, wala na tayong mapuntahan, biglang may tumulong sa atin, nakita natin ng Diyos. Kapag may nagpatawad sa atin dahil na, sa napakalaki nating pagkakamali o pagkakasala, pinatawad tayo, nakita natin ng Diyos. Kapag may ngumiti sa atin sa isang lugar na parang para tayong abandon, para tayong, walang kila, para tayong isda sa lupa, eh, mayroong umiti sa atin, mayroong tumanggap sa atin, mayroong kumausap sa atin, nakita natin ng Diyos. Kapag tayo hindi naman, problema, hindi natin malaman kung anong gagawin natin, mayroong nakinig. Mayroong nag-spend ng time at makinig sa atin at mag, nagkaroon ng compassion, mayroong malasakit para sa atin, nakita na natin ng Diyos. Kung bubuksan natin ang ating mga mata at puso, Lagi nating makikita ang Diyos kasi nga, Emmanuel, God is with us. Makikita natin ang Diyos. So, it seems siguro sa pwede natin gawin for the rest of our lives to open our eyes and open our hearts to be able to see God in the people around us, in the things that happen around us. Yung mga kabutihang nangyayari, kahit actually, kahit yung mga paghihirap na dinaranas natin, kung, dadar- kung daranasin natin yan, pap- if we go through them in a good way, in a, in a faithful way, we will still be able to see the face of God. So, isa, isa siguro sa assignment na pwede natin gawin throughout our lives is to be able to, yun nga, buksan ang ating mata at puso para makita natin ang Diyos ngayon, sa araw-araw natin, saan man tayo naroon. Ano man ang naiyayari sa buhay natin, pwede natin hanapin at makita katulad ng paghahanap ng mga tatlong magi sa paghahanap nakita ang Diyos pero isa pang pwede natin gawin at siguro ay mas meron tayong control kasi yung paghahanap wala tayong control ano, nantay lang natin kung ano yung mangyari sa buhay natin pero isang bagay na pwede natin mas, mas meron tayong control is kung paano natin ipakita at ipakilala ang Diyos sa iba. May control tayo doon. Choice natin yun. Tayo ang may mag- makakapag-decide kung ang bawat salita natin, bawat pag-iisip natin, bawat gawa natin ay nagpapakita ng mukha ng Diyos, ang kanyang kabutihan, 
ng kanyang kagandahang loob, ng kanyang pagpapatawad, ng kanyang kindness, ng kanyang friendliness. Through us, tayo ang magiging litrato ng Diyos para sa iba. Yun ang mas, may, mas isa pang challenge na pwede nating subukan at pilitin mangyari sa buhay natin. Bagong taon na, January 2 na, no? second day of the year. Meron pa tayong 363 days. Sana araw-araw, ang dalawang bagay, dalawang tanong magawa natin o masagot natin araw-araw, masagot natin ng maayos. Nakita ba natin ng Diyos? Sana nakita natin ng Diyos. Sana na ipakilala din natin at nakita, na ipakita natin ang Diyos sa ating sariling mga buhay. Let us all stand now. And together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In Christ Jesus, all have become children of the Father and heirs of salvation. Let us pray to the Father that we may be made worthy of this great gift. Full of confidence, we pray. Lord, our light and salvation, listen to our prayer. Lord, our light and salvation, listen to our prayer. For church leaders and missionaries, may they draw into the mystical body of Christ the rich diversity of gifts of peoples and cultures, we pray. Lord, our light and salvation, listen to our prayer. For those who hold public office, and those who aspire to serve our country, may the light of Jesus purify their intentions in serving the people, we pray. Lord, our light and salvation, listen to our prayer. For those who are sick, the handicapped, the elderly, and those who mourn for the loss of their loved ones, may they be comforted by the light of God's loving presence manifested in their families, friends, and communities, we pray. Lord, our light and salvation, listen to our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they be forgiven for their sins and be welcomed into God's eternal kingdom, we pray. Lord, our light and salvation, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, our light and salvation, listen to our prayer. In a very special way, let us pray for the health and healing and wholeness of all our people, especially against COVID-19 and, and the pandemic. Let us pray that we may be able to survive all of this and be faithful to, to God and and His commands, we pray to the Lord. Lord, our light and salvation, listen to our prayer. Heavenly Father, listen to your children as we glorify your Son, the light of the world. May His presence shine within us 
so that we may be guided through the pathways of life and be united with you in the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church in which are offered now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed, and received, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. indeed holy O lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
knees kneel. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. Lalo pong pa, pa, pahabol na reminders. Una-una, sa pagkukumunyon po, huwag na po natin dadalhin sa upuan yung, at, yung Blessed Sacrament. Alam naman natin na katawan ni Kristo yan, so hindi na natin papatagalin. As soon as we get it, ano po, kakainin na natin. Okay? Kasi po, eh, para hindi siya nililipad ng hangin at kung ano-ano pa pwedeng mangyari. So pagkatanggap na pagkatanggap natin ang katawan ni Kristo, ipasok na ul agad natin sa ating bibig. Pangalawa, continue po natin ipagdasal yung ating kalusugan para doon dami na naman yung numbers natin sa COVID-19. So sana mag-ingat-ingat pa ta lalo tayo. At pangatlo ay pagdasal din natin ang ating elections na sana maging matahimik at smooth at, at honest lalong-lalo na pagdasal natin yung ating sarili para mapili natin ang tama kung sino yung nararapat, hindi kung sino yung mananalo, kundi kung sino yung nararapat na umupo sa anumang posisyon na pinag i natin. Ipo, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We shall now pray for the sick and for your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary, may all these articles be blessed, and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.